Hello guys! After a month of shooting only film and shooting medium format and having to carry around a heavy mamilla everywhere, I decided to try something new for this episode of the Shoot Digital series and I will be shooting an iPhone. Now, I used to have an iPhone 4 for several years. I bought it in 2011, end of 2011, and I got it until a few months ago when I got this beast. This is the iPhone 6S Plus. So, I'm gonna be shooting with this iPhone and yeah, I don't know, I wanna try something different and see how how good the results are with a tool that practically everybody has. I mean, not the, this exact phone, but everybody has a cell phone in their pockets. And I wanna try like pictures that I usually do, but with a cell phone and see what happens. Let's go. Okay, so it's the same day a little later on and we're gonna go to Old Town and yeah, let's go!
yeah, that's the end of the episode. Um, it's been an interesting experience, especially because I don't consider cell phones to be particularly good cameras. Uh, in my experience, when you zoom the image on a cell phone, you can still tell it was taken by a cell phone, and this definitely happens with this phone too. But yeah, what I found actually weird about shooting with cell phones is that when I shoot with uh, film cameras, for example, or any camera actually, that doesn't have like a live view constantly on the on the screen. I see something on the street or, or, or on the situation I want to take a picture of, and I imagine the picture I want to take and then I realize it with the camera. But when you have a screen constantly telling you how it looks, I ended up thinking the inverse way. So what, what, what ends up happening is that I'm constantly checking the screen to see if it's interesting and once I see it's an interesting scene I take the picture. And sometimes it's kind of weird because in reality the scene is not that interesting but it looks good on screen. It happened to me when I was in the city center and there was like a nice reflection with the lights and in real life it was like an okay situation, it was nothing too interesting, like nothing mind-blowing but on the screen it looked really nice so I took the picture and I was like oh man this is this is like an actually really nice lighting situation but in reality it wasn't that cool so I think there's like this double uh, relationship with the image and, and reality right so yeah I don't know it's been an interesting experience and I hope you like it and yeah keep shooting guys <laughs>